guys, JT coming to you with another reaction video today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do that. We do guitar tutorials, we're gonna do some how to date stuff. You know, if you're struggling with your dating and your love life, we're gonna get that sorted for you as well. And uh, we do a whole range of other fun videos here on this channel, we're just getting started. So please join us on the journey. So today we're gonna to be doing a reaction video to Tommy Emmanuel's version of Classical Gas. Now Classical Gas was originally written in 1969 by, formed by Mason Williams in 1969. Uh, it's written around the key of A minor and it is a very, very beautiful song, beautiful piece, and I think it was Top of the Pops back in the 1960s. Obviously, we're in quite a different era now to what makes Top of the Pops these days. You know, you're probably gonna be teeing off between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B for, for Top of the Pops, but back then it was purely instrumental music that made it to the top. So today we're gonna look at Tommy Emmanuel's version. Tommy Emmanuel is a brilliant fingerstyle guitarist, probably one of the best guitarists, like, ever. Uh, and obviously that's a very big debatable thing, but he's he's a phenomenal talent. Uh, obviously put a lot of hard work in as well, but he's, he's a, a freak. Tommy Emmanuel is a freak, okay? I'm putting it out there. And, you know, we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look at his cover and uh, let's get into it right now. Okay, okay stop it. I'm throwing my guitar out.
I I was exhausted watching that. I I could I, I couldn't imagine what Tommy went through at the end of that song. How exhausted he would have been, but. That was phenomenal. The amount of techniques that Tommy actually put into that song, it is nothing short of a masterpiece, folks. That is, I guess, you know, he's been playing, he was, I think he was playing concerts and stuff when he was nine years old and he was just on the road all the time. And I think his parents had to put him back in school uh, because the, the New South Wales state government wrote to his parents and said, you've got to put your, your sons, because it's just uh, Tommy and, and Phil Emmanuel, uh, and you had to put them back in school. Because they were out touring, like there was just this family that went around and did music concerts and things. Um, but the amount of effort and, and work and practice that he would have had to have done every day of his life to, to pull off something like that is just, I don't know, it's like you, you appreciate it, you love the music and you can really appreciate it, but then when you're struggling with guitar yourself, you have to be careful not, it, it's, it, it's a bit tricky because you have to be careful not to watch guys who are like, like be inspired and 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 look up to these guys but realize just enjoy like where you're at and and what you're doing with the guitar and if you if you're just learning the a chord or the d chord or the, the e minor and, and you're having trouble with those chords that that's okay you know you're at where you're at and just um just enjoy that process of learning and, and discovering of the guitar and then yeah and you can just watch a piece like that and you're like wow that's that's just phenomenal um, but don't be disheartened by it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's easy to be disheartened by someone who's really good with the guitar. You know, you go to a party and someone's really, really good and you, you think, oh man, they must have been doing it for ages. But, you know, just with a few chords, you can play some cool songs as well. So just remember that. But I really did enjoy that song. Uh, it's a fan fantastic piece. What more can I say about it? Uh, Tommy's a, a just a freakishly talented musician and he's done a lot of hard work as well. So this is JT You're going to sign off for today. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Whoop.